yes good mm. so welcome to this class so primarily the objective of this class is to better our spoken command over english see we study english from uh, uh, class 3 onwards or something like that up to 10 11 11 12 standard we study one subject english or uh, or in tamil medium or all the subjects in english except tamil in english medium but still we find it difficult to speak in english you know why why we find it difficult to speak in english not only you not only one person in general everybody finds it difficult to speak in english even though we studied english for 10 15 uh, for 10 years or 9 years or 8 years what is the reason so first reason is grammar okay and pronunciation okay now uh, okay now uh, uh, what is her name vijay i think uh, she says grammar but do, uh, you are able to speak tamil fluently yes sir but do you know all the grammar in tamil no sir ah then without grammar you are able to speak uh, tamil fluently why we are not able to speak english fluently uh, no that is my question so because english ah. is uh, english is not our mother tongue okay okay it is not our mother tongue very good uh, then what is what is the second reason you said grammar and pronunciation pronunciation yeah pronunciation we may not come to us because uh, ours is more of a tanglish kind of pronunciation you will get we will not get the native english pronunciation never mind but it could be indian english even that pronunciation is okay as far as communication is concerned because you are going to communicate to another indian uh, uh, to a person who knows indian english so that should not be a problem suppose if you want to speak to some uh, uk fellow england fellow then probably there could be some pronunciation difficulty so grammar is not the reason why we are not able to speak english and pronunciation yes there is some issues are there but that is not the major reason why we are not able to speak in english what else could be the reason to why we are finding it difficult to speak in english when i say you not only you in general including me i also found it difficult even now i find it difficult to speak in english so what what are the reasons what what are the other reasons anybody else okay i'll tell you uh, then you see whether you agree with me or not see normally when we when we are born as a child we speak in some language that is called malayali okay and then we speak uh, whatever our mother or father or whoever is uh, there in that home whatever they speak it could be tamil telugu etc straight away the child will speak of, uh, initially one or two words amma appa kind of thing then straight away she will the, the girl or a boy will jump into the sentence like that so initially it's a word sentence rhymes then only they will come to know the alphabet am i correct or not the alphabet part will come later yes sir no yes sir initially yes, sir. we will learn the words we will learn the sentences we will learn the rhymes then comes our poems or whatever it is and then we get then only after coming to school we will study a a e e u u we will tickle may will tickle etc we study only after uh, this but unfortunately in english what did we study first the alphabet alphabet so we have started in a wrong methodology that is the reason we are not able to speak english if we are able if we started off with words sentences rhymes poems and then alphabet we would have learned english as good as uh, tamil so this is our problem no it's not it is not a problem of one person it's a problem of entire india we have a wrong methodology in learning for example let us say viji viji is uh, his neighbor is a telugu speaking person Viji, as a child, will learn Telugu also. Yes or no? Within two three years, you will speak good Telugu. Yes, isn't it? So within two three years, the Viji will speak both the mother tongue Tamil as well as Telugu. Because again, there we started up with words, started up with the sentences, rhymes, etc. That is the reason. Okay, right, good. now we'll we'll go to a small uh, presentation uh, and then we'll go to minute a member minute a member means you have to speak uh, on any topic for a minute 
whatever be the topic just a minute in english one minute only maybe two or three sentences you have to speak so now that we will see later now we will go to one small uh, presentation that will uh, help you are you able to see the screen one uh, orange color yellow color screen one ppt yes sir where i think let me see there it takes time ppt 2 okay communicative english ppt 2 okay let, let it be there so the, we are going to see some uh, see what what we are trying to do in this class is we have a three pronged approach three type of approach one is we will look at how do we frame a sentence structure for a particular situation how do we frame a sentence structure for a particular situation for example you want to go and talk to your teacher in english so that is a situation or you want to go and talk to uh, your junior let's let's say you have one younger sister and younger sister's friend had come to your house so how will you talk to that junior person like that these are called situations like that in in our life we will have many situations so how do we make a sentence structure for situation that we will see now then we will have what is called a minute member that is the member whoever presents here they will speak for a minute on any topic of their interest it could be science social science or english or anything they they are interested in right and third is we will have a general topics where we all will try to talk okay right now let's go to this one one minute huh? okay now now making polite request suppose you are talking to some senior maybe your father or mother or somebody even much senior or your neighbor neighbor who is a fatherly figure you have to make a polite request you have to make a request and you have to make a polite request why polite request can he come and they can, are they are they seniors. are senior yeah. seniors yeah correct and we want our work to be done so it has to be polite how do we do it for example one lady says do you mind parking your bike a little straight so it is a parking uh, slot where one person uh, came and uh, parked the bike it's not straight it is actually angled so the lady is asking do you mind parking your bike a little straight why that sentence sex structure starts with do you mind if she says you park your bike little straight if she said like that you park your bike little a little straight then that man may do it or may not do it because that looks like a command am i correct yes sir but we have to request so she starts with do you mind parking your bike a little so whenever you want to make a request polite request you can use your sentence structure should start start with what is called do you mind okay so the man replies i am afraid i can't because the bike is not mine i am just standing near it so here he, he could have said i can't uh, uh, park my park this bike straight because it is not mine instead of saying that he says he is also polite because you are polite he is also pol polite i am afraid i can't because the bike is not mine i am just standing near it 
okay this is one type of uh, making a sentence structure whenever you want to make a polite request the another type of sentence structure is postman uh, says to somebody excuse me if you don't mind please avoid smoking here excuse me if you don't mind please avoid smoking here that man says why not okay so here the postman is making a request so he starts with the sentence structure what is called excuse me and then again using if you don't mind you use it. so two things we are learning you can start with do you uh, you don't mind or do you mind or you can start with excuse me will you students do the do this from tomorrow onwards whenever you wanted to make a request yes sir yeah now i request uh, jakkamma devi what is her name i forgot what is her name Tejeshwini. Ah, Tejeshwini, to read this uh, this slide. Can you read this? I can't see the screen, sir. You are not able to see the screen. All of you. Why you are not able to see the screen? Oh, okay. For some, uh, what about others? Are you able to see the screen? Are you able to see the screen now? No, sir. What about others? No, sir. No, sir. Oh my no, God! Sir. But you said uh, you did not. When I said, are you able to see the screen? You said yes. I don't know. Hmm. But that time we saw, sir. Oh, only now you are not able to see. Okay, let me yes, share sir. it again because so when somebody comes in, sometimes uh, you may not be able to see the screen. That is also there. Now are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we are making uh, making polite request. We have two kind of sentence structures. One sentence structure will start with what is called "Do you mind?" with that uh, sentence. Other one is "Excuse me." Okay. So can I, can uh, anybody read this uh, slide? Any one of you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Lady, do you mind parking your bike a little straight? Ma'am, I'm afraid I can't because the bike is not mine. I'm just standing near it. Hmm. Okay. But who is who is actually uh, reading this? What's her name? Tejeshwini, sir. Tejeshwini, when when she read that lady thing, she was little soft, and when she read the man thing, she's re uh, she was really tough, some somewhat tough. i could make out that why why they just feel like that they just feeling because you have to you know uh, you are acting like a man no sir okay anyway good okay uh, right next one 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 minute i will i will i'll uh, admit them otherwise keep on okay now are you able to see the screen yes sir ah okay yes sir ah read read this postman postman Excuse me if you don't mind please avoid smoking here Sankar why not Hmm okay one more person you, they can read the entire slide one more person anybody Viji can you uh, or very or whatever uh, Prasanna no somebody Prasanna can you read Yes sir Yeah Lady, do you mind parking your bike a little straight? Hmm. Yeah. 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 Continue. Ma'am, I am afraid I cannot because the bike is not mine. I am just straight near it. I am just standing near it. Hello. Yes, sir. Ah, you are you are red as straight. I don't know why. Okay, no problem. Ah, go to next. For postman, postman, excuse me. If you did not, if you do not mind, please avoid smoking here. Sankar, why not? Yeah. Excuse me. If you don't mind, please avoid smoking here. Like that, you have to read. Okay. One more person. Anybody other than these two? Anybody can read this slide other than the two who have already read? 
who has come the last person now on uh, raja raja he, they can read one of you can read this abhinesh can you read this yeah lady do you mind barking you by a little straight mm. yes next oh something happened to our uh, connection i think okay let's go to the next slide so we are looking at one more situation the situation is seeking advice you wanted some suggestions from somebody else so sasi she is asking because which dictionary shall i buy sir she is asking this to her sir or maybe english teacher which dictionary shall i buy sir the english teacher says you can buy oxford dictionary of current english the teacher says you can buy oxford dictionary of current english and sasi asks again one more question where shall i get the dictionary the teacher says it is available at chair and bookshop okay next one more situation is i would like to buy a car which car shall i buy so b says you can buy maruti 800 so here we are starting we are asking an advice so we are starting with which which the starting point is which which dictionary shall i buy which car shall i uh, shall i buy or uh, where which where like the where shall i get the dictionary so you can start up with which where or why how you with this you can uh, no uh, make a sentence and uh, seek some suggestions okay now can anybody read this uh, slide raja raja you can read this or abinesh sasi which dictionary shall shall i buy sir which dictionary shall i buy sir ha uh. ano read pan le i am in a class can i call you up to half an hour na i pan only read pan ye full 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 read pan ma ma read entire entire slide you read over it is yes one of you anybody for that matter yes sir so see which dictionary shall i buy sir mm. sir you can buy oxford dictionary of current english good mm. so see where shall i get the dictionary mm. yeah sir it's available at chair and bookshop very good okay next continue okay sir ye yeah. would i like i would like to buy a car which mm. car shall i buy mm. b you can buy maruti 800 okay very good so suppose you want to make a Thank sentence you, seeking advice can anybody make a sentence on your own you make some sentence on your own you can make a sentence Sir, shall oh. i get a pen from you yeah shall i get the that pen from you okay it's right but uh, in uh, that is also correct but you can start with which why how you uh, know you can use these words which uh, who how and where kind of thing also shall also is good i mean that's also you can is one way of uh, asking questions where did you buy this sari from this can be a question where did you buy a, buy this sari from no one mother will ask another mother in the sari inge vaangninge like that they will ask no where will where did you buy this sari from or where did you buy this uh, what do you what are you wear uh, chudi chudi from chudidar where did you buy uh, this uh, frock from like that this is where our next one is which place you you went uh, yesterday which temple you went uh, yesterday or last week like that you can ask so you can start up with which how this is you are asking a question and seeking an advice no uh, you can use these any of these 
okay very good okay let's go to the uh, third uh, slide sir sir uh, i have a doubt sir yeah shall i use the word when yeah you can use the word when okay sir when you know suppose you are you are asking talking to your tuition master so you are, you are asking sir when should i come for the tuition when shall i come for the tuition like that you can ask isn't it yes, sir. Okay. when shall uh, we meet again uh, when shall we meet again oh very good very nice nice way of asking i think uh, you you have, you have really uh, got that idea how to frame a sentence whenever you want to seek an advice or suggestions or some response okay let's yes, go sir. yeah let's go to the third uh, thing give warnings and recommendations you are giving a warning to somebody you are you had better come to class on time you had better come to class on time you had better not repeat it that is the right way of uh, using you had better not to repeat it the two should not come many times when we make the sentence we will put that not to the two should not come that is not the right way so you had better come to class on time so is it tamil la kada sonna next time class ku olungu mariyadiya time ku vandrom appadi solla mudiyadhu olungu mariyadiya nu solrom illaya adu mari idu you are better come to class on time adu give warning you are giving warning so and olungu mariyadiya appadi nu solrathu vande romba threaten pandrathu illa olukama next time class ku time ku vandrom appadi solluvanga so like that in english you had better come to class on time then you had better not repeat it suppose somebody is making the same mistake some pronunciation etc then the teacher may say you had better not repeat it while making that sentence many of us including me i am saying you we make a mistake saying that you had better not to repeat it but the two should not come that is the reason we have put it there which is not the which is the correct use and which is not the uh, correct use then a bob is always traveling on footboard i think there is some one minute ah huh? babu is uh, always traveling on football present continuous tense used to express our irritation over the bad habits repeated see here babu is always traveling on football so it is a continuous tense but here we are using this continuous tense saying that we are not happy with that ama eppa paathalo football liye travel pandra abdin enna artham Are you happy with that, or no? You are not happy with that. Not happy. Ah, right. To express your, uh, so it is a little bit of warning. It's kind of a warning. So Bob is always traveling on football. He had better not travel on football. So you say he had better. Yes, no, sir. Had he had better not travel football. Up in the future, cause all wrong. We are talking about future. In me, our when the football uh, travel, panna kura langar. Mary meaning a the. But we are using had better. Had when the past perfect, isn't it? Past tense are they? Yes, sir. But use ponna na adha. Adha na in English show the beauty. Na reya exceptions are kong. A language which has got plenty of exceptions. Or grammar nida adal exceptions na reya kong. Exception na Tamil lena solra na thuke. I don't know. I don't know. Correct ana word ang terla. Okay. So a lot of exceptions will be there. so this is you know you can uh, if you want to warn somebody you can use the sentence structure you had better you can start with that okay can anybody read this slide so one of you can read this slide you had better come to class on time you had better not repeat it correct use you had better not to repeat it not current use mm. yeah babu always traveling on football present continuous tense is used to express of irritation over the bad habit bad habit repeated mm. b he had better not travel along football he had better not travel on football along illa on football okay right so okay. can you can you make a sentence uh, using had better can you make a sentence had better So let me make a sentence. You had better uh, not to switch on your mic while the class is on. You had better not to switch on the mic when the class is going on. 
so that uh, it's right of a, it's a mild warning you can call mild warning uh, or echerikai mild echerikai neenga class nadakkumbodhu mic on panni vekkadinga only when you speak you should keep the mic on so you had better not to switch on the mic while the class is going on okay like that you can you make a sentence on your own you had better score good marks next time correct you had better score pass marks next time or good marks next time whatever okay correct very good Thank you you had better don't take uh, non vegetarian during summer அப்படினு ஒருத்தர் சொல்றாரு வெச்சுங்க you had better not take non vegetarian during summer like that any warning and you are giving a recommendation you can start with uh, the sentence you had better keep this in mind so whenever you want to uh, want somebody your friend usually whom will you want either you will want your friend or your juniors or your sister a younger sister or younger brother like that but normally if you have an younger brother if you want him will you take it will you take it if you want your younger brother will you accept it any experience people who have younger brothers they know okay so this is the time this is the type of sentence you can make uh, you can frame one more anybody uh, one more person can try on their own uh, make a sentence using you are better mall nirit sanna mall la sollu ma class ada ya kan mukhyavan ida da anja murugan yaar irukkan sir video la mall ni Malikia you had better uh, yes make a sentence using you had better you had better not take too much of coffee during summer you had better take cool drinks or lemon drinks or maybe uh, tender coconut during summer you had better take tender coconut elani elani ku per enna tender coconut nu per tender coconut uh, for summer like that you can make a sentences like that okay right we will go uh, maybe one more person can read this one more person can read the slide whatever is there in the slide one more person can make uh, read the slide yes sir yeah you had better come to class on time mm. you had better not repeat it okay. correct use yeah you had better not to repeat it not correct use mm. a babu is uh, always traveling on football mm. present continuous tense is used to express our irritation over the bad habits repeated correct b he had better not travel on football correct okay very good who is this person this girl tejeshwini sir tejeshwini very good very good okay right let's go to the next uh, uh, giving and seeking advisable actions if you want to give some advice uh, advisable actions actually okay doctor you had better take vegetarian food and had not you better go for a walking in the morning walk in the morning sorry you had better somebody has come you had better take vegetarian food and hadn't you better go for a walk in the morning and had not you better go for a walk in the morning i want to buy a second hand car a says i want to buy a second hand car b you had better not buy a second hand car you had better buy a new car a why don't you buy a second hand car then b says had i had i better buy a new car so either you can have you had better or had i better like that you can change depending on the uh, no situations okay can anybody read this slide sir yeah please doctor you had better take vegetarian food mm. and had not you better go for a walk in the morning mm. yeah i want to buy a second hand car b 
you had better not buy a second hand car you had better buy a new car you had better yeah. buy a new car ah correct okay yeah why why do not you buy a second hand car b had i better buy a new car okay so again the same uh, whatever we have seen in the previous uh, slide same thing here we are using add better using had better you can give some advices or advisable actions okay can anybody make a sentence using add better yes sir yeah you had better not to take junk foods yeah you better not to take not take junk food very good very good very good who is this uh, girl Tejeshwini sir. Tejeshwini, very good. I think you have really thought about it. Very good. Anybody else? One more, one more try. One more person can try. Any sentence of your own? You had better speak in English in the English class. You had better speak in English in the English class. Like that, you can make a sentence. Okay. you had better speak in english in the english class okay one more any one person can try then we'll go to the next slide sir yes please you had better good work for last week no 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 you had better see i had better always refers to the future appa last week varad okay you, you had better study well next week for okay, the revision sir. test like that you had better study uh, study well for the revision test yes, okay like that you can okay. make a sentence very good one more person one more person last person using you had better use this uh, sentence uh, structure and you can frame a, a sentence for giving some advice are advisable actions you had better stop smoking you had better stop smoking so like that you can make some sentences good anyway you try these things uh, in your uh, till the next class whatever you study uh, you try these things in the uh, during the week let's go to the uh, one last uh, slide that is called predicting you want you you are predicting something let's see what it is a do you think he is going to get selected so b says yes i think he is going to get selected a sankar has been arrested what do you think is going to have what do you think is going to happen b i don't think he is going to get bail i don't think he stands any chance of getting bail so he is predicting that he will not get bail so instead of saying uh, he will not get bail normally what do you say he will not get bail but instead of saying i don't think he stands any chance of getting bail or i don't think he is going to get bail so you are starting with i don't think or do you think i think so using the think now in tamil also we use this na nenikire enik mala vanda varum like that you say so this is the way you have anything if you want to predict what should come to your mind oh i don't think i think so this should come in your mind use that in your sentence and make a sentence that sentence will be more uh, you know uh, more professional and more sweet also anybody can read this uh, slide one of you a do you think he is going to get selected b yes i think he is going to selected mm. Hey, Sankar has been. Wait, 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 gent ji get bail mm. i don't think he stands any change of getting ball bail well, just see any any change yeah. uh, chance i don't think he stands yes. any chance of getting bail 
Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. Can, can you one more person? Can you read this slide? One more person. Sir. No. Yes. Sir. Yeah. yeah. Do you? Sir, sir, start. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Do you think he is get going to get selected? Mm. B. Yes, I think he is going to get selected. Mm. A. Sankar has been arrested. What do you think is going to happen? Mm. B. I don't think he is going to get bail. Mm. I don't think he stands any chance of getting bail. Bail and another thing, ma. Or it's arrest panita and the vehicle poye release panvar. That pair the bail. Tamil le na word. I can't remember that. Jamin. 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 Yes, Jamin. Jamin. Add karde. So he says, I don't think he is going to get bail. Na or Jamin kare kya de. Or I don't think he stands any chance of getting bail. Adi na sweet arke. See, I don't think he is going to get bail. Is uh, is sweet, but I don't think he stands any chance of getting bail. Is more sweeter, Ilya. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, Ada, the professional look kepa varu na. You make it more sweeter. Language apdiye var. Palam nalvi tenil udunda the pole apdi solrang Ilya. And the mari some people when they speak, they speak very nicely, very fluent. a uh, very soft and uh, the flow also will be very good some of them they are good speakers for example uh, kalanyar karnanidhi is a good speaker in tamil now his speech was wonderful he puts the right word at the right place and with the right tone so he he does that okay any of you make a sentence along uh, with i don't think on your own I don't think CSK is going to win this IPL. I don't think CSK. What is the full form of CSK? Chennai Super Kings. Ah, I don't think Chennai Super Kings is going to uh, win uh, the IPL uh, tournament, uh, tournament or uh, uh, whatever uh, this thing competition. So like that, you can make some sentence. Sir. Yes. I don't think what will happen on tomorrow. Yeah, I don't. I know no, you have to. The, the sentence framing is okay. You started with I don't think, but that it's not complete. I don't think it is. Uh, it is going to be very hot tomorrow, I, or I don't think uh, it is going to rain tomorrow. Okay, like that you can say. Or I don't think our teacher will give test tomorrow. So suppose there is an element of doubt among the children. in a class whether a particular teacher will get uh, will give test you know when i was in school some 50 years back 50 years ago when i was in school one teacher used to come in white and white white shirt white uh, uh, dhoti vesti but once in a while he comes with white shirt and white pant so generally we students will think when he comes with white shirt and white pant nalla adi kudupar or param bedti ellari addi pinnuvar anikina or 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 belief so we will say i don't think he is going to beat this time apdi solla even though he is dressed in a white shirt and white pant i don't think he is going to beat us so like that i can solla epovume avaru edha pant la vandave anikala engalukala nadungu avaru paathave engalukala nadungu oh iniki addi pinnuvar apdi So our uh, so like that I think whenever he had come in the pant I think he has uh, beaten the students. And that all the passengers are doing very well. So they are all mutik mutik that way. Kal kira that way. So like that. Okay, very good. So what all we have seen? Let's go one by one. Communicate English PPT two. First we said how to make a polite request. The polite request will be very useful to you everywhere. Even if you go to a bank, let's say you are standing in a queue. and you are making a request to somebody there sir i am in a hurry uh, uh, do you mind uh, me going first to the counter abd kettinga na suppose if you use this word do you mind then obviously he may say yes it's quite likely he may say yes so likewise you can do i think many girls they use it very cleverly many ladies or many gents also they use it very cleverly so this making polite request is one second is how to seek an advice how to seek a suggestion or an advice for that you will use which when when where all those you know you using that you can uh, 
make a sentence and the third is you are giving warning so you are giving warning using a sentence structure you are better right you had better like that then you are giving advice same thing warning advice everything again here you are using you are better the same thing you are uh, using and the third the final thing is predicting so here you are start with uh, don't think i don't think or do you think or i think so uh, like that you are you can make sentences if you keep this in mind and if you use it in your day to day life then the the whole thing the english spoken language will be beautiful from you and then people will start looking at you they will appreciate you also or they will listen to you when you speak uh, fluent and the flow is good everybody will listen to you once they listen they may agree with your opinion or not that is a different thing but then they will listen to you at least okay okay i will close this ppt now we will go to minute member this ppt i will send in the group that's not an issue i will send in the group today so we will go to the minute member we will go so sir, you, yes yes madam uh, sir second slide la mistake irukku sir speaking advice in edathile seeking advice nu irukku sir no that is seeking advice is correct it's not speaking it is seeking you are i you are actually okay. seeking advice okay okay sir. The, the third is giving advice first one is seeking advice it's not speaking advice even if it is uh, no if you want to say speaking advice nobody will say speaking advice giving advice like that only will say okay no problem good so uh, let me uh, we will have a minute a member whatever you think uh, you wanted to speak for a minute two or three sentences you can make maybe it's about your uh, uh, town maybe about your uh, village maybe about your school maybe about your excursion maybe about your about your exam anything we'll start with achaya kalpana achaya kalpana can you start a minute a member you can introduce yourself first you give your name your place your class and then you start speaking uh, for a minute my name is achaya sir yes karisalkulam sir hmm. i i am i hail from karisalkulam or i am living in karisalkulam like that you know mm -hmm. always make a full sentence not uh, uh, words okay carry on very good hmm. okay sir and study 9th standard sir very good kila rajagula raman government higher secondary school sir okay my school name is kila rajapuram government higher secondary school okay yes sir that uh, that and the end you need not put that sir that you can remove okay right then you can you speak something about your uh, uh, your village or town kela rajapuram kela rajapula raman sir okay we about your village whatever be the town or village or town village sir yeah you can talk about your village or talk about anything your school any 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 matter anything or you are some science some social science whatever you wanted to speak you can speak okay we will come to you later maybe we will uh, look at other people next we will go to your uh, pmc karur maybe you can try yourself pmc karur sir my my name is pranav sir yes i am living in hosur sir you are living in hosur okay My my school name is Adi National Academy, sir. Very good. Sir, so, and I'm going to talk about skeleton systems. Going to talk about skeleton systems. What what? Skeleton system. Skeleton system. Yeah, yeah. Please, please carry on. Uh, in a skull, there are twenty two bones, sir, mm. and only one moving bone is our large, sir. Mm. And everything is non movable, sir. Okay. And uh, and rib cage, sir. It has twelve columns, sir, and totally twenty four the ribs, sir. Okay. And protects our lungs, sir. Hmm. And the and there are two two floating ribs, sir. Hmm. They are not connected to the middle system, sir. Okay. And so they are called floating bones, sir. And totally there are four floating ribs, sir. Got it. Very good. Hmm. That's yeah that's all very good very nice i think uh, we have to really appreciate uh, mr uh, uh, i don't know what is his name i think is from osur uh, uh, pranav from osur 
uh, very nice. I think you have talked about the skull, and you say the only moving part of the skull is the jaw, and then you have talked about rib, and then you said some floating bones or something. You said some four floating. Uh, this thing is there. Very good. Very good. Uh, uh, I think we should appreciate. You are in which class, uh, Pranav? Sixth A. Sixth A. Okay. Sixth standard. Okay. Now we'll go back to uh, Tejaswini. Uh, you can try. Yes, sir. Ah. A uh, very good morning. A uh, very good morning, sir. Yeah, very good. The sir, you drink. You you leave all those sir. Why sir? You address to yes, everybody. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. A uh, very good morning to all my friends. I am G Tejaswini. I am from ninth standard. My school is situated at. Uh, My school is situated at Kila Rajagula Raman, mm. and high secondary school. Mm. I would like to give you a short speech on say water. Okay, very good. What mm. is the precious gift of nature? And each and every species on earth, mm. uh, nearly seventy one percentage of earth surface is covered by water, but only twenty five percentage of fresh water is drinkable for us. Uh, it is very important to save water because it's a necessity for each and every day. Yeah. Rain is the main source of water, yes. and we must we must take steps to save rain water. Yeah. And Good. most of fresh water are polluted by factories, and we must to we must avoid this. Yes. Avoid these activities. Yeah. Thank you, Sage Tejaswini. Very nice. You have uh, really touched an important topic called save water, because water is a very pertinent thing for our day-to-day -day life. Without water, we cannot live. And as you rightly said, seventy-five percent water, seventy-one uh, percent uh, water is there, and uh, most of the water is salty water, and we have very little, uh, you know, sweet water. And the only source of water is rain. Very nice. All the important points you have mentioned. i think i really appreciate i clap for you for taking this particular subject even though it is an english class you have taken a very important subject and then you have addressed that particular save water uh, subject very nice okay can we go to sir, uh, uh, may yes. I tell a slogan for it sir yeah yeah yes yes nature is a precious gift sir precious gift of god is nature mm. it has many beautiful creatures hmm. and nature has many futures and save it for our future okay very nice very nice okay i think i thank tejaswini for taking this extra effort and i wanted to tell all of you see we in our igniting young minds we conduct many competitions you can join those competitions whatever it will be coming in the group whatever group you are there uh, it will uh, that uh, message will come So we have English uh, recitation competition for uh, and one English poem competition. I think Tamil poem. I I think it's over. So like that, every month we conduct three or four competitions for school students, for different students from fifth, sixth onwards up to eleventh, twelfth. So what whichever is applicable to you, we can join. Okay, right. Can we go on to Madam Ranjita? Ranjita, you you can introduce yourself and give a small speech. I think Ranjita is not uh, responding. Uh, maybe we'll go to Arun Kumar. Arun Kumar, you can try. Uh, good morning to all. My name is Tanga Arun Kumar. I'm uh, studying two to four. Uh, I studied Kamraj College. Into the body, second become CS. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Are you mad? I will speak sir, sir. No, no. Very nice. <laughs> you are able to speak, man. Yeah, you are able to speak. Sangat pada dinga, kuch pada dinga. All our number number girl da. Our ninth standard na gorai. Our friends da. Our all. All our men are friends da. You know, you are in ninth standard means what is your age, Tejaswini? Fifteen, sir. Fifteen. You know my age. What is my age? You know. Mm, nearly above fifty. I am sixty-one. So I am also your friend. 
so we are all friends ganga arun kumar may be some 18 or 19 so we are all friends yes arun kumar carry on i talk about my district okay please utukudi is the famous uh pal famous uh, district for salt ah uh, salt okay ah uh. uh, salt and pal mutuk yeah pal many places visited the district yeah very Thank good you, yeah thank you i mean tirchendur one temple famous temple tirchendur is there in thootukudi district and uh, the recent uh, that st- sterilite problem took place in sterilite industries in thootukudi like that many things you can talk so arun kumar you be bold and then ninga usually naanga solluva when naangala kolandiya irumbodu kolandiya na indha tejas vini ma irumbodu enga aasiriyar solvar dai nee english pesra munnad irukravangala muttal nanchi pesu appo automatically vandru abdin par எப்படி எப்படி பேசணும் தேஜஸ்வினி முன்னாடி இருக்கிறவங்களா தேஜஸ்வினி முன்னாடி இருக்கிறவங்களா முட்டால் நினைச்சிட்டீங்கன்னா ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்காக நம்ம ஸ்பீச் வந்துடும் அப்போ தயக்கமெல்லாம் வராது ஸோ அது மாதிரி நீங்கள் யூ யூ திங்க் தட் யூ நோ எவ்ரி திங் அபவுட் தட் சப்ஜெக்ட் அண்ட் யூ ஆர் த மாஸ்டர் ஆஃப் தட் சப்ஜெக்ட் தென் யூ ஸ்டார்ட் ஸ்பீக்கிங் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி யூ வில் கம் நோ ஃபியர் வில் பி தேர் நோ எஜிடேஷன் வில் பி தேர் ஓகே அது எல்லாருக்குமே பொருந்தும் அறுபத்தோரு வயசு எனக்கும் பொருந்தும் பதினஞ்சு வயசு தேஜஸ்வினிக்கும் பொருந்தும் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஆ அதை விட சின்ன பர்சன் இருக்கார் பிரணாவ் பிரணாவ் யூ ஆர் மேபி டென் இயர்ஸ் ஓல்ட் லெவன் இயர் ஓல்டு யா லெவன் இயர் ஓல்டு ஸோ லெவன் இயர் ஓல்டுக்கும் அது பொருந்தும் ஸோ யூ ஹாவ் டு பி வெரி போல்டு டோன்ட் ஃபீல் தட் யூ மில் மேக் மிஸ்டேக் மிஸ்டேக் பண்ணுறது தான் நம்ம இருக்கோம் இந்த இந்த கிளாஸோ ஸ்கூலோ எல்லாமே எங்கே திஸ் இஸ் அ பிளேஸ் வேர் வி கேன் மேக் மிஸ்டேக் அண்ட் லேர்ன் ஸோ லெட் அஸ் மேக் ஆஸ் மெனி மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் இஸ் பாசிபிள் and try to learn as many things as possible will you agree with me so this is yes, a sir. yeah this is a place to make mistake yes, ama inge da in the place da mistake uh, 61 year old ana kuda enakku innikku thagara adikku some english words la thagara da so adukaga nama pesam irukka mudiyuma we need to speak maybe somebody will correct i will, again i will correct this process will go on till our death it will go on and during this process we will be become a better speaker okay any anybody else abinesh is there abinesh you wanted to try now abinesh you want to try now or uh, you will try yeah my name is anja sir mm, okay my native place is t kaisal kulam okay school name government high secondary school kila rajagraham okay very good okay she introduced herself no problem next time she will speak nothing wrong in it so all the best for coming to the class i will send this ppt to you uh, in in the group uh, whichever group you are there uh, i mean communicate english group then i will send this video also today's class video also i will send viji viji has joined viji viji you wanted to speak Viji wanted to sp- do you want to speak Viji Yes sir Yeah please My name is Kobika sir Hmm okay Thank you please sir Okay My school name is Government High Secondary School, Kira Raja Kulaman, sir. Very good. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Viji, I think you have a great disturbance in the radio or TV. No problem. Anybody else wanted to try? Uh, other than whoever has tried, it's okay. New, uh, Prasanna, can you try? Yes, sir. Yes. My name is Dr. Sharmila. I am studying 9th standard from 
Kila Raja Kula Raman Gavarma High Secondary School. Hmm. My native place is Kila Raja Kula Raman. Hmm. Very good. Okay. She introduced herself. Very nice. So go through these uh, slides once again. Uh, through I have sent through WhatsApp. And then become confident of using these three or four types of sentences at different situations. Then you will become confident on the language also. And we have about four, 13 or 14 such uh, PPTs. So uh, roughly about 40-50 uh, sentence structures you will be, come across. And with this you will go very you know from strength to strength as far as English language is concerned. Panir Lama. Panir Lama. English to improve Panir Lama. Yes, Kandiba Panir Lama. Yes, it's not a big thing. Yes, now yes, actually Solapona Arun Kumar. Uh, I was a very, very poor student as far as English is concerned. But then slowly, you know, those days I also studied in Tamil medium. Tamil medium is the Padana. Yes, Pranav, you wanted to say something? No, sir. No, sir. So, uh, yes, sir. Yes, So, Jairaj, you wanted to say something? Then slowly we picked up Nikhilin the Mari class. So we slowly picked up uh, you know, speaking in English. And by the time I went to job around 25 years old, I had a little bit of English. But even now, at 9th standard, you are able to speak reasonably good English. So don't feel shy. Uh, I think you are much, much better off than person like me. You will become a much better person over a period of, you know, uh, when you when you come to college or something. But you keep learning these new things and that will help you in improving your language. Okay. Thank you so much. We will meet again in the next class. Okay. Any other uh, suggestions, sir? Okay. 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 No, sir. No, okay. Sir. Okay. No, sir. okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.